So we've got the draw coming out for both Indian Wells, uh, for the men and the women. We're going to start with the ladies draw first because there's some crazy matches potentially in the second and third rounds in the bottom section of the draw. But let's start with the withdrawals because there were some big names that are not going to be playing in this event. All right, so there's six players that are not playing in Indian Wells on the women's side in this stage. It's Bogdan, Christian, Contivate, Osorio, Teague, and Zhang also pulling out. Zhang being the biggest name, I think she's the one that maybe a lot of people would be watching for. Uh, she's not playing in this event due to injury. So some big names out of this draw. All right, here is the top section of the draw. We've got 32 seeds in this one. The top 32, all 32 seeds get a buy in the first round. Started with Fiontech, the number one seed, gets a buy in the first round. Winner, uh, she'll be awaiting the winner of Lou versus Van Utbank, going at it in the first round there. Uh, then you've got a qualifier versus Stearns, the wild card. Winner of that plays Andrescu, the 32nd seed in the second round. So Andrescu versus Fiontech, possible third round matchup. Very, very fun. Then you've got Lynette, the 20th seed, getting a buy in the first round. She'll await the winner of Kovinich or Raducanu in the second round. Then you've got Sinia Kova versus Niemeyer. The winner will play Haddad Meyer, the 13th seed, in the second round. So, look, some tough opponents potentially there for Fiontech. You know, Andrescu's no, uh, former champion. Haddad Meyer beat Fiontech last year. Raducanu, we all know who she is. Niemeyer also pushed Fiontech very tough a uh, couple of weeks Oh, sorry, a couple of times last year. So not fun matches, but I think Sviantec will will like her draw, and she is the defending champion. Next section of the draw, you've got number 12 seed Samson over taking on either Pera or Bronzetti, who are going at it in the first round. Then you've got Castella versus Qualifier. Winner of that plays the number 19 seed Keys in the second round. Then you've got Fernandez, the 30th seed, taking on, uh, after a bye in the first round, will take on either Navarro or McNally, second round. Two wild cards from America going at it. Then you've got Corpatch taking on Collins. Winner plays the number five seed Garcia in the second round. So Collins, Garcia. Garcia is the match. That match is huge. Winner plays Fernandez third round. Another crazy match. Tough draw for Garcia after a tough loss last week against Vekic. So Colin second round, Fernandez third round. Samson over and Keys are no slouch either. And of course, potentially this part of the draw, or someone in this part of the draw will take on Sviontek potentially in the quarterfinals. So it doesn't get any easier for the players in this section. All right, the next section of the draw, you've got the number four seed, Jabir, taking on uh, either Zanevska or Davis in the second round, who's going at it in the first round. Then you've got Von Drusseva versus Marino. Winner plays the number 28 seed, Buzkova, in the second round. Then you've got Trevis in the 23rd seed. She'll take on either a qualifier or Brengel in the second round. Putin Seva takes on Mukova. Winner plays the number 14 seed and two-time champion here back in the day as a ranker also made the final here two years ago so this section's a little bit open you know Mukov is a dangerous second round for as a ranker potentially but you know Jabur's coming back from injury as a ranker should be the favorite to get out of this section I think she'd probably like her draw Trevison's not really a threat on hard courts Buzkova I mean sometimes sometimes a threat but I think as a ranker is going to really like this section of the draw then we've got the number 10 seed Rabakina she waits the winner of Stevens versus Kennan in the first round that's a very fun first round champ versus champ uh, winner will play a champion of a slam uh, then you got Diaz versus Chucky Aretto winner plays Bedosa the 21 seed potentially Bedosa versus Rebecca in a third round that's a lot of fun Martic 25 seed she gets a buy in the first round she'll take on either a she'll take a qualifier in the second round because we have two qualities going at it then you got Maria taking on Paolini winner plays the number 8 seed Kazakina in the second round I think the um, look Kazakina is not in great form but I think Bedosa Rebecca is where it's at right the winner of that match will probably make it to and play as a ranker in the semis uh, of course, this section does play that section. So Azarenka Rabakina, potentially. Azarenka Bedosa, which was the final in 21. That could happen again. Bedosa likes playing here. She made the semifinals last year. She won a couple of years ago. Uh, Rabakina, obviously, uh, looking to do something as well. But, man, this is an interesting section. I think um, there's only a few names that I would expect to get through. And, of course, Fiontech awaits the semis. That's where it's at. All right, let's go to the next section now. Third section of the draw now. You've got Zachary, the number seven seed, getting a buy in the first round. She'll take on either Volley Nets or Rogers in the second round. Rogers versus Zachary is not a fun second round. Then you've got Sharif taking on Fruvitova. Winner plays Kalanina to the 27th seed in the second round. Pliskova, the number 17 seed. She awaits the winner of Kalanskaya versus Parks. Very interesting to see how Parks does in this tournament. Then you've got Lee versus Blinkova. Winner plays Kudamatova, the 11th seed in the second round. Zachary's got a tough draw to start, but she is the finalist from last year. So she'll probably, she can get through Rogers or avoid Rogers. She'll probably like her chances. I think she can beat Kudamatova. I think Pliskova is always tough, but I think on these courts, Zachary would like her chances. So I think Zachary could make it through this section. She'll like it, uh, like her chances, especially if she avoids Rogers. Then you've got Kvitova, the number 15 seed, taking on Mandlik or Risk in the second round. Very interesting second round there. Uh, she's going to have to play an American. Uh, then you've got Sastovich versus Kanepi. Winner of that plays Ostapenko, the number 24 seed in the second round. Then you've got the 26 seed Potapova, awaiting the winner of a qualifier or Wong in the first round there. Then you've got another qualifier taking on Georgie. Winner plays Pagula, the third seed. 
Georgie Pagula is a very interesting second round match. Georgie won a title a few weeks ago, and we all know what Pagula can do. She's very consistent uh, at all tournaments. But again, I mean, Ostapenko, Kvitova, Pagula are probably likely to get through uh, and play possibly Sakari. So Pagula, Sakari quarterfinal. Um, Kvitova, Pagula played already this year uh, with Pagula losing. Also, you know, Ostapenko's had her moments too. So this could be a fun section of the draw once we hit the third and fourth rounds. Uh, but again, I mean, Georgie Pagula is probably the most interesting part of that draw in the second round. Or Kanepi. I mean, Kanepi versus Ostapenko is fun too. All right, the final section of the draw, which is the crazy section of the draw. The number six seed, Goff. She'll play a qualifier in the second round because there's two qualies going at it in that first round. Then you've got Nuskova taking on Bagu. Winner plays uh, the number 31 seed Anissa Mova in the second round. Then you've got Song getting a buy in the first round. She'll take on either a qualifier or Kostyuk, who's in very good form in that second round. Uh, then you've got another qualifier versus Teichman. Winner plays Bencic, who's uh, been a very good player this year, Bencic. So that section of the draw, very interesting. I think Goff, Bencic are the favorites. You know, Kostruk's in form uh, as well, so I wouldn't be sleeping on her or Anisimova. I mean, Anisimova can come good too. So that's an interesting little section of the draw. But let's get to the bottom section because this is where things get really crazy. Krajikova, the number 16 seed, gets a buy in the first round. She awaits the winner of Bondaire or Yastremska in the second round. Then you've got Wong versus Mertens. Winner of that plays Alexandrova. Then you've got Vekic, the number 29 seed. She'll take on either Zhu or Qualifier in the second round. Now, Zhu has been in very good form this year. Didn't even mention her name, but Vekic won a title last week. Then you've got Rad Radina versus Cornet. Winner plays the number two seed, Sabalenka. That bottom section is the craziest section of the draw by a mile. You've got, obviously, the seeds. Vekic in form. Krajikova in form, Sabalenka, Australian Open champion, Zoo's being good, Cornet's always dangerous, you know, uh, Yastremska can sometimes turn it on, uh, Alexandrova shouldn't be, you know, shouldn't be overlooked either, that section is where it's crazy, and then of course, you've got this section taken on maybe Goff or Bencic in the quarterfinals, so Bencic, Sabalenka, which we saw at the Australian Open, Goff, Sabalenka, that could be fun, Krajikova, Bencic, nobody, I don't know what that looks like, I mean, some crazy, crazy matches in that bottom section, and uh, that very, very bottom section, of course, as well. All right, so there's the women's draw. That is what it looks like. That is how it uh, how it's going to be for this year. And like I said, the top section's interesting, a little bit interesting, but the bottom sections are nuts. Some of those matches in the second, third, fourth rounds are going to be crazy. But who's going to win? That's the question. You tell me. Let me know in the chat or let me know in the comments below if it's the first time, uh, you know, you maybe you're watching this in the replay. Who is going to win the ladies' Indian Wells? It's hard not to go Sviantec just because she won it last year and I feel like she's got a decent draw. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe Maybe Zachary does something. She did make the quarter, made the final last year. Remember that. Or is it going to be someone else? Let me know down in the comments below who you think is going to win Indian Wells this year.